July 2nd. Uh, <laughs> I move. I leave Colorado in about 13 days, 13, 14 days, depending on which day I really do want to move. But something big happened. I booked a moving pot. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It was a little bit cheaper than I thought because I saw prices for like 1200 and 1900 But I went with UPAC and it was a little bit over 1000 Thank goodness for relocation fees. This bra doesn't go with this tank top. I decided to book because I read an article that popped up thanks to Google. This article was like, UPAC doesn't have a deposit. And I'm like, so weak. Do you really look at yourself in the camera and you're just like, hey, I don't know what filter I have on this camera, but I look cute. Because if you look up close, look at, I got some bags. Kind of. I don't know. Anyways, um, so I read this article and it was like, hey, no deposit. Da -da -da -da. And I'm like, okay, cool. Let me go ahead and book it. Ugh, I don't want to spend like all this money. But then it was $900 less than I thought. So I was like, yep, book it. And then they gave me a $25 discount as well. So yeah, book it. In the article as well, it said um, there's this service called Dolly that um, is great for like local moves and stuff like that. Unloading and loading and all that stuff. You should probably hire them. So I'm going to see if I can get somebody out here on July 13th. That's when I pack up my stuff and then I will only be left with whatever I'm taking in my car with me <laughs> need to make a list of stuff that i need to do like it's just gonna be me selling a lot of stuff this week so tomorrow will mainly be me working on social media and packing i'm gonna go make some taquitos i think july 7th losing my mind i just had a thought follow me here i leave colorado a week from tomorrow and it's freaking me the f out i censored myself you're welcome okay i'll probably check in honestly um <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so weird to record right now because it just like became real. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you see the reaction on my face. Lori, go ahead and rewind back and slow-mo the face of you realizing that you're moving. Um... Oh my god. <laughs> It just hit me right now that I'm moving. I have so much to do. I've been thinking about it all day. I am so shocked that I was able to focus today with my meetings and stuff like that. I had interviews and I'm going to take a nap right now. I'm going to get up. I'm going to work on the things that I need to finish so that tomorrow I can focus on moving, packing, selling stuff. Ew, what am I watching? I got to finish my Taco Bell. I got to crunch that Supreme. Bye guys. I love you. This one is mine. Wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> there it is, that's so crazy. <laughs> How cool. <laughs> Sorry, didn't give you a final door after all. The day ended uh, a little rough. As I was donating my six trash bags and um, chairs, I was waiting in line in the drive-thru, the drive-thru little like drop-off, and <laughs> I was reading Facebook and found out a friend of mine died in a car accident this morning. So that was a little rough and I was just sitting there like, oh. And then I went to the office, had to pick up the equipment because I'm taking equipment down to our office. Called John John and, and I was like, this is not going good. <laughs> I told him what was going on. So, uh, but he had to actually come back to get the rest of his furniture that he wanted. Table's gone. I left the couch. The couch is still there. The couch is literally there because the guy that wanted to buy it was like, oh yeah, I'll come and get it. And then he's like, oh, I don't have the truck until seven. I'm like, bruh, I turned in my keys at six. Like, I, I don't know what to do. So I told him, oh, I went back upstairs and had him like, just started crying like crazy. And I was like, I don't know what to do. So I got like overwhelmed. And then I was like, sad because I was leaving my besties. And then um, <laughs> sad because the person that I knew just passed away and just weird because I'm just like, that's... It, she was doing like great in life and 5:45 i was just throwing things outside uh, the cleaning lady who is my actual friend so i was like what do i need to do to clean she's like you just need to do this this and this i'm like okay cool didn't get to do any of that i just like cleaned up the big pieces of trash on the floor sweep the bathroom a little bit didn't get a chance to sweep the kitchen at all didn't get a chance to finish the microwave there's still food in the fridge and my deposit was supposed to go towards my break lease fee that's probably not going to happen but that's okay i don't want to talk about negative stuff anymore <laughs> i don't want to talk about my breakdown palm trees tomorrow wake up probably around 1 30 and then we're just gonna start driving it looks like i'm look at that oh no oh my gosh go to bed there we go oh you still can't see me oh my gosh it's almost five no it's past five but it looks it's starting to look pretty out 
I'm still waking up. I'm gonna try to set up my mount real quick so you can see me while I drive. But we are about 18 miles from the Colorado New Mexico border, so we'll be entering New Mexico here in a second. I'm definitely awake now. This is great. I'm going to stretch my legs, figure this out, go from there. Look, it's us in the car. Ooh, green. Let's so welcome back to our channel. Bloop blop, bleep blop. You know how you're on that one planet and then that girl's like, blah, 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 and you're like, oh no, girl. And then she's like, ah, and then, you yeah. know, yeah. Uh -huh. Like, and then you just have to, blah, 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 you know? Yeah. Dope. <laughs> oh, so we're just chilling. Oh, I'm awake now, yeah, so I'm gonna do some driving, potentially, unless I get kicked out of my own car. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> this is what it is Friday, and I am moving into my apartment today. But we also have to run some errands too, so we're gonna load up not my car, but parents' car because that's where all my crap is. Let's get some more masks and gloves. We might get a tattoo today. We don't know yet. All right, we're going. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm in my master bedroom. It's been a day. It's been a week, honestly. That's why I haven't been vlogging as much as I want to. But um, here's what we have now. I have my inflatable mattress here. In my second bedroom here. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. But um, I just want to point out that I have no internet because um, this is what I walked into. So I'll explain this later. Currently, my anxiety is through the roof. I've had two panic attacks this week. Almost had a third one today. And I was just like, I, I got to tap out. Had a fight with the internet today because, as I showed you, my cables aren't plugged in. Like, what apartment do you go into and all your coax cables are unplugged? So even if I did try another coax port around here. It won't work because it's not plugged into anything. I'm currently waiting for groceries. My mom was nice enough to buy me groceries and I'm going to blow up my inflatable mattress. Try not to freak out. I'm just going to pass out. So I'm going to turn on my... Oh, I can stream with that. Nope, you can't because you don't have internet. Great. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Oh, I didn't tell you this part. I have pinched a nerve somewhere in my leg. I don't know what's my foot. Or my leg but now half of my leg and pretty much all of my foot or like half of my foot is numb when usually when this happens it's like when my foot fell asleep and um but i can't walk correctly so i have to like be very careful dealing with that i'm having a hard time i'm currently sitting on my bed like this because this is the third time i have fell because of my pinch nerve in my leg and it, it just goes out the first time was getting my groceries like i put the bag on the floor and I went with the bag. Second time, I was trying to put a box up on the top shelf of my closet and my ankle went out. So I fell into the wall and rammed my rib into the one of my uh, bars in my closet. And finally, I was just walking to check my phone and my whole entire leg gave out and I just slammed to the ground and I'm still here. I'm not hurt. At least I don't think I am. I have not moved. <laughs> <laughs> like I've had my foot numb before because of it like falling asleep, but I have really pinched it and it probably doesn't help that I've been sitting in the car for so long. So, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna just wait for my food and crawl to the door. I'm still putting away groceries. It's been an hour. It's been over an hour and I've ordered this place called Pokey Fusion. So I'm super excited to try it and get some fish in my life because I love me some Pokey. Check in tomorrow. If this doesn't improve, then I will be staying put this whole entire weekend, which is fine by me. Hey guys, I decided just to move the grocery bags to my counter. I have fallen a fourth time as I was going out to my balcony. I rolled and somehow got up real quick <laughs> and yelled downstairs, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, which is okay because I don't know if anybody is in the apartment below me. I got a poke bowl 
from this place called Pokey Fusion. I'm hoping that I get feeling back in my leg either tomorrow or Sunday. I need to go to American Furniture Warehouse and get a dresser. <laughs> and I just realized I have my bed facing the wrong way. It's supposed to be fit dead on. And I might actually keep it this way. Still get a dresser right there. Have all this room. Oh my gosh, I didn't think of that as an option. I'm going to finish eating and then I'm going to go to bed. I deserve to go to bed. I need to relax and I need to elevate my foot because I don't know. As I was saying, New Mexico Drive, stunning. Amazing. Colorado Drive is great, but I'm used to it. I just feel like once you get into New Mexico, you really, you're coming through a pass. You're coming through a Raton Pass, but like it starts to transfer from winter town, winter state to like, oh, here we're getting warmer. Here's the desert life. We're really in the desert now. Like, so it's just cool to see that in like all the, the landmarks and the rock formations, the mountains or foothills, whatever they call it out here. I don't know yet, but like, okay. I hate road trips, but I would drive through New Mexico again. Like I would definitely like go back with them and then fly back. I'm going to relax. I'm going to enjoy my inflatable bed. Didn't realize how nice it was. I'm going to sleep. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, um, night. I love you guys very much. I'll check back in soon with some updates, okay? Hey guys, happy Sunday. Starting a crutches collection. Let's run through what happened. Okay. Saturday, I set my butt down. I did not go down those stairs at all because I was like, I know if I go down the stairs, I'll fall. The good news is that I did not fall at all yesterday. There was like a couple of topple moments, but that's kind of normal for me. Today, I was like, cool, my leg's doing better. I need to run by the bank and I need to run by the furniture store. So that was my plan. So I grabbed my phone, grabbed my wallet, put my shoes on. Thought I was super careful. So I started walking down the stairs, going down the first flight of stairs, which these stairs kind of creep me out anyway because they're kind of high up, but I'll get used to them, which I'm very used to them now because I fell down them. The second to last step or the last step, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's the last step. I went down it and my left foot went down. That's the foot that is numb currently. The feeling's not back yet. So I went to step down and my foot gave out. So, and I don't know how I stepped down. I probably just, I know exactly how I stepped down because when I try to redo it, it hurts. I stepped down on the side of my foot is what it happened. That's why it went out since I couldn't feel it. Foot went out. I fell down the stairs. What's funny about me falling because I'm so clumsy, I know how to fall. Therefore, nothing else in my body except for like my right foot is a little, my right ankle is a little tender, but doing great, honestly. My, my left foot is definitely swollen because I know I sprained it. Ankle's doing great though. My ankle, my problem ankle, phenomenal. It's still a little bit numb. I could tell if it was hurt, if it was sprained. It's just my foot. My foot is sprained for sure. It's a little swollen. After the bank, I was going to go get soundproofing because I have to do this commercial, but um, that's not going to happen today. I am so comfortable right now, even though my bed is pretty much deflated. So I'm going to inflate it a little bit more so I can stay my butt in bed. I'm I ordered food. <laughs> it's on the way. I'm like, there's no way I can cook in the kitchen. I still haven't put away all my groceries yet. Can't even be mad anymore. This is Sunday. This is the end of the bad week. So my family made it home safe. I was calling them throughout the day and they called me once they la or landed. <laughs> once they got home, which was like after 10. Well, maybe not even that late. So they were just waiting for Floyd to get home. And Floyd, I should be home. I texted him what happened today. But after I fell, I just sat on the ground, like made sure nobody came out for me. And then I was like, oh, it kind of feels nice out here. I'm going to sit here. So I like sat there and like looked up where I was going for the bank and just like let everything rest to make sure everything wasn't broken. I have some exciting news. Guess what I got? Crutches. Just kidding. It's my ankle bracelets. Look at how cute. They're actually compression socks, but that's not what I'm really excited about. I'm using crutches to take the pain off of my, my feet. My calf on my left side is still numb. I know you could tell I'm wearing a whip, but I don't care. It personally looks great, I swear. At first I thought, for my right ankle, which is my good foot, this one doesn't hurt as much to step on it, so I can still use this foot as a support. This one, on the other hand, it is swollen. And if you look closely, those dark spots are actually bruises. Those are not usually there. <laughs> I for sure sprained the top part of my right foot. Well, I'm not a doctor, but I've done this before. And then my left foot is definitely sprained on the outside, and it hurts still. So let me show you what's going on. Okay. How do you do a walking time lapse as you walk with crutches? This is not easy. Ugh, exciting happened. Ta-da! That brown box is my bed frame, and that blue box is my mattress, so I'm gonna build some stuff. <laughs> oh god. Oh no! <laughs> this bad boy, um, the inflatable mattress, I'm not going to deflate it because it's gonna apparently take a while. Take all of my bedding off, put it to the side, and then I'm gonna move this bed to second guest bedroom, like so. 
One, two, three. Ta -da, no bed. Okay. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to show you this way. So I pinched my hand in my laundry room door. So that's what that is. Here, let me see if I can zoom in on that. No? You don't want to? Well, it's a, like a blood blister now because I pinched it so much. So yeah, hopefully I don't hurt myself too much. Now you foreshadowed again. And the last time you foreshadowed, you fell down the stairs. It only took me like two minutes or less to untape this box and start pulling out things. But to push this box from my living room or dining room, whatever that room is, to my bedroom took 20 minutes because it hurt so bad. <laughs> oh! I am going to literally order a new bed one to two years because opening new furniture like this smells so good. A new car. Mm. Here's a preview of everything. It's brown. Oh, you can't see it. I'll show you once I'm done building this thing. It shouldn't take too long now that I have it in my room. <laughs> Why am I still recording? Okay, I'm gonna go back to watching mm -hmm. Tribe Wives, Tribe Room Time. All right, y'all, we have a frame. Now I just have to put the insides in so the bed has somewhere to, and of course, I thought this was gonna take a lot less time so I could have my mattress like inflate, but screw it, I'm still sleeping. Okay guys, you can't see my mouth because I don't know how to vlog in a mirror. We officially have a bed frame. And I know you see the plug, I'm not gonna show you what it does yet. There was some missteps, it took me about like two and a half hours. The reasons why we had issues is because the directions suck. I a magnifying glass there was no words at all so i had to go rogue and i realized at the very end i made a big mistake that i did at the beginning but it's not like the biggest mistake so it's fine that's fine so now hey hey thanks for joining us mattress gotta put you on let's do this you're not gonna see like me making the bed but i do want to show you something there it is the mattress is fully inflated thank gosh i thought it was gonna take a lot longer but there's the bed and i have to show you something really cool <laughs> Let's do that. Let me do my bed lights up. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Good night.